slam, but no setup, this... and no setup. But... This man right there, you know him. That's the host of this year's Grammys, Trevor Noah. You, uh, I'm, I'm glad we have you here, um, you know, physically oh, tonight. Oh, boy. Because there's, there's, been, uh, there's been some danger in your past. Oh, boy. You recently uh, took... Wh when, did you, when did you do this? Uh, so this was over the December holidays. Oh, so you, 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 you leave the show yes. and you're like, you know what, I'm going to get the hell out of this country. You go to Costa Rica. Yeah, that's, that's my annual trip. So everyone... So I've been lucky enough to have the same group of friends going on, what are we now, 14, 15 years from South Africa. We all started our careers together, different paths, different journeys. But every year, we make sure that we go on a friend's trip. Doesn't matter where it is, sometimes South Africa, sometimes, you know, it can be California, and this time it was Costa Rica. Mm -hmm. and we do something that we don't really want to do <laughs> for the experience. You have to. Like, I force like, everybody. don't want to do, or like, ah, uh, that scares me or something? Yeah, like, that don't want to do. So people be like, I don't know if we want to do that. And I'm like, that's why we should do it. <laughs> and so this year, I picked whitewater river rafting. Okay, so here, this is in Costa Rica. Yes. And this looks, looks like a pretty vigorous river. It's fantastic. Okay, so it's fantastic. Here, here, here you are. Yeah. About to go over the falls. And right. that's, that's, that's you right there, right? That is me right that's there. That's you lying down, so, so not just, paddling. So just so people understand, like, the guide... No, 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 you're not supposed to... There's points where you paddle and there's points where you don't. And you have to listen to the guide who's on the back, yes, right? Yes, So our guide, Chico, he was telling us, he's like, guys, you're going to be paddling. When I say stop, you stop. You put the, the oars up. When I say paddle, you paddle. Go, right? So yes. I'm listening the whole time. Like, stop. Go, stop, go. Yes. I've got it. That's what I'm doing. Yes. All right? And then he goes, we're coming to a rapid. It's going to be great. I was like, all right, we're ready for it. Rapids are great. Rapids are cool. You go through a few. You're like, this is yes. easy. This is fun. And then it's not. <laughs> we'll take them through the process right here. Okay? Right. So this is here, joy. This is joy. This is, this joy. is fun. This is, this is me realizing that, oh, this is, this is what I've always wanted to do. This is right. fun. Okay. <laughs> so so that's, that's now not me anymore. <laughs> That's actually my friend, Anele, and she has flipped upside down, as you can see. It's, you've got to admit, it's a pretty amazing picture. It is. It it's is. just to have your shoes. <laughs> sure. It's a wonderful picture to look at. Yes. But when, you, when you're in it, it's, it's cool because you don't know that it's happened yet. You've, you've done river rafting, right? I have, yeah. Have you, have you ever gone out of the boat? Uh, no, no I, my mom popped out of the boat. Oh, wow. That was shocking. <laughs> The photo of me at that point is we're all in the boat yes. together at the yes. top of the rapids, and then halfway over the rapids, just me going, <laughs> and my mom is gone over here. Yeah, because you, you, don't, you don't know, right? Uh -huh. That's the crazy thing about it is you don't know, but... and then the next thing you know, there's no boat under you, the water's on top of you, the boat's on top of you, and then you're like, oh, I don't think I'm in a boat anymore. <laughs> but you still have your paddle. And this, and this is well past when you've realized what's happened. Yeah, so that's, that's the face when I realize that I might... No, but to give you full context, I was having a good time until one of my closest friends decided to pull me down into the water to try and lift himself up, which I understand is a common... <laughs> this is a common thing that happens in you water. Look, you look buoyant to me. <laughs> I've been, I've been told that many times. Thank you very much. And, and you said that river rafting is, is... This experience is a metaphor for life. How so? I truly think it is. I think in life, you know, you, you are, you're on a river. You can't control what the river's gonna be like. There's going to be moments where it's beautiful and calm. There's going to be moments where there are rapids that shake mm -hmm. you up. You don't know what your life will be like. What you can control is the people you're in the boat with. And so I'm glad I chose those people for my life, for that boat ride, for that journey. It was Knowing wonderful. that one of them will try to drown you it to get out of one... the river. I, he didn't try to drown. He tried to save himself. I... <laughs> and in the process, he pulled me down. He wasn't trying to drown it, you. It was really amazing. didn't care whether you live. My That's life all. flashed before my eyes. Mm -hmm. You know what no one tells you when your life flashes before your eyes is that you also remember random things. Oh, what, what, what well, everyone thinks you? it's going to be like, oh, when you were born. When yeah, you... Yeah. I was just like, ah, oh, that's where I left that controller. <laughs> it's like random yeah. things like that come there into your is. head. Yeah, there it is. That's yeah. exactly right. So you're back on the road on a comedy tour. I am indeed. Okay, well, what, how, how is that? Now, you get to go out there and live the life on the road, which yes. you did for many years. Yeah. Is that fun for you? Do you enjoy that? I, I love it. I love it. I, I, miss, I miss meeting people in person. I miss meeting, meeting people where they are. The, the, you know, the thing I, I loved about The Daily Show was... I was, I was in a world where I was consuming the news constantly. Mm -hmm. The one thing that I didn't enjoy about it was that the news was often defined by a place. Oftentimes, it would be the coast or where, like, the news organizations yep. are. Yeah. But you wouldn't get a real sense of what people are experiencing. Mm -hmm. And so what I love about doing stand-up is I get to bridge the gap between what I think I know about a place and its people and what the people actually think about the place and the people who are there. So, mm -hmm. you know, I have ideas of Georgia, 
but then I get to go do shows in Georgia and I get to meet Georgians and I get to talk to them and I go to a mm -hmm. diner and I go to cafes and I go to restaurants. You know, the same thing in India. I have ideas about India, but then I go to India and I think each time it refines me, it changes my point of view, you know, it gets rid of some of my, my biases, gets rid of just some of like the ignorance that we all have about places we don't know about. So I, I love that part of the journey. And, and then on Monday, I don't have to worry about, is it George Santos, is that his name? Sometimes. <laughs> that is sometimes <laughs> his name. I agree. Going on the road and meeting the people is the best thing. It's amazing. It really, really is Before amazing. Before we go, we, we got to go here. We got one last question for you. We talked about this a couple years ago when you were on here because yes. you, you play Shuri's AI bot Grio yes. in the Black Panther universe. I do. I okay. Do and I, I had forgotten this. And uh, I had uh, uh, some, some of the cast on, and I wanted to go watch it recently, and I went, why is that voice so familiar? Because I'm listening to the eye of that. <laughs> and I went, that's Trevor. Yeah. That's Trevor. It was like, it is. I looked it up. It was like, oh, yeah, I forgot he is. But I have a bone to pick with you. Okay, go. Okoye is, like, being attacked. Shuri yes. is on the ropes. This is true. And, and you're saying, I'm working on it. Yeah. Like, or some urgency from Griot, please. It sounds like you don't care what's happening to these well, people. I, you, you see, I, I hear what you're saying, Stephen, and I think... That's the know, kind of voice I don't want to hear from no, Griot. No, but you see, Stephen, as, as an AI, what I try and do is get into the, into the role of, of what I'm, what I'm performing. I'm an actor in that moment, oh, Stephen. Okay. Oh. And so, now, imagine if you were talking to your AI. Imagine if you pulled up one of your devices... Sure. ...and you said to your AI, you were like, uh, call 911, and Siri was like, ah! No, wait, stop, stop, stop. Cancel. You literally... <laughs> I had to cancel. You, Siri, Siri was calling 911. And then it heard me screaming. Now someone's no, on the that's, way. That's exactly. Now someone's comes. on the way here right now. <laughs> you can see Trevor hosting the Grammys on February 5th on CBS. It's Trevor Noah, everybody. You remember him. We'll be right back with the star of Everything Everywhere All at Once. Stephanie Shoes, stick around.